Hello everyone, it is December 8th, it's just after lunch and my husband has a meeting so I was able to grab my phone and sit down and record a little bit for you. So my plan for today is I need to twist all of the minis um, for the Christmas yarn that was in the update on Monday. This morning I finished rescaining all of it so now I just got to twist the minis and label the yarn and then it'll be ready to pack up and ship tomorrow. And then after that... I am going to sit down and work on my quill blanket, which I've been showing off and I finished it. I finished it last night. Um, I brought it with me to my son's hockey game, but then my sister-in-law came and we got chatting. So I didn't actually knit as much as I'd hoped for, but I finished it. I just got to weave in these ends. I started last night, got a couple of them. And then I need to block it because as you can tell, the edge here kind of rolls. So I need to do that, um, but I can't, I can't really show you how big it is, like it's sizable. So I'm gonna get it blocked and then see if I can get some finished um, object photos for you to show off. But I am really happy with it. It is a great size. It's just the perfect lap size blanket, whereas before, um, like I want it for my waist down to cover my toes and before it wasn't going to be big enough but this one definitely will especially after I block it so I'm really excited to have this done and then my next knitting project is the giant cinnamon bun um, of sock yarn so this is what all of those skeins that I cranked up <laughs> earlier uh, ended up looking like so these are all the colorways so I'll take you through them um, for anyone interested, most of these are still going to be in stock in the shop. And if anything is sold out, just leave me a comment and um, I'll see if I can't dye some more. Technically, I am done working for the year. Once I ship out the orders this week, I've dyed up the December Club and we finished this Christmas update. But if um, anything is sold out, I'm more than happy to, to dye another colorway. But anyways, the first one here is elfed you've been elfed so that is red and white stripes and it comes with a green mini skein and the next one these are all attached <laughs> so i just put like a little bit of waste yarn in here um for anybody who is wondering my circular sock machine is an earl bacher gearhart speedster um, which is red i have both a 64 and a 72 um stitch dial for mine and I do have the river dial but I haven't used it yet because I'm scared um anyways the next color is holly jolly this one is I really love this one and it was in my I think it's an original Christmas color to my shop but I actually have never knit this up before so for this one you can choose between a red red green or red mini and it also comes on the gold Selena base which is coming up next on this color. This is Merry and Bright, and the camera probably doesn't pick it up, but there's a little bit of sparkle in there. This is the Gold Stellina. Uh, there you go. That one I forgot to um, actually listen to shop, so I'll be putting that one up. And this is another favorite of mine. This is Joyful. This was originally done as a kit with my friend Amanda and our other girlfriend, Shauna. Amanda dyed a gray gradient and um, Shauna did matching project bags to go with it. So that's how that was born. This one is the one everybody will know. This is Gingerbread House. This is been around forever and other than the Advent skein, it's probably my best selling Christmas colorway. And last but not least, we have Country Christmas. This, believe it or not, is actually a stripe sequence that is in your 2019 Advent skein. I just really loved how the colors were, um, how they really, how they look together. So I decided to make it into its own colorway. Um, I think I switched the blue. I think it was a pink in the actual skein, but that's where that colorway came from. So I've got all of these that I need to put onto needles and 
knit in uh, the cuff and the heel and all of that stuff. So that is a December project. And I was so proud the other day because I did catch up on my Advent socks, but I have promptly fallen behind again. I am only up to day five, but now that I am done the majority of work for this year, um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to catch up on, on these again. Um, tonight will be fine. Anyway, so that's where I am on my Advent socks. You can see that slip stitch now. I put the instructions on how I do this in the down box below in the description box, but all I do is when I come to a color change, I wait till like the color change starts and then I will knit three, slip one, knit one, or knit three, slip one, all the way around. And then when I get to the next color change, I do the same thing, but I just try to put the slip stitch um, two stitches later so that they're offset. I really like how that's how that's turning out. So that is where I am on those. And they are still tucked in my sandy bag. So that will be coming with me tonight. I am going back to my son's practice tonight, but um, I'm hoping to get all the chatting over with so you don't have to um, sit and watch me talking in the car in the dark. And believe me, a lot of people give me some odd looks. <laughs> and then the last thing I sort of wanted to chat about right now was these paper stars. I had shown these off on last year's Vlogmas, like a little clip of me sitting and making some, and a lot of people had asked, how do you make them? So I grew up making these. For anyone who doesn't know, I was born and raised in Denmark, and I lived there until I was... 18, 19 years old, and then I moved to Canada. And I grew up making these every single year. I used to go to the local bookstore and I would buy, they have these packages of their pre-cut and they were like a metallic gold paper. And that's what I always made mine out of, or I would make it out of like gift wrapping ribbon. Um, that's how I grew up making them. But a lot of people put in the uh, I think it was on Instagram that they made them out of fabric strips. So that I haven't tried, but I will, I'm going to video a tutorial on how to make these. I just need to get these packages out and then I'll get right on that. So I'm hoping to post that um, Friday or Saturday. I'm hoping to record it all Thursday or Friday while my kids are at school and then um, edit it and put it up for you guys to do. And I'll put a couple of shops too where you can order the strips from. I get mine on Etsy and um, there's all different widths and, and types of them. But that's where I get them. And they're really simple to make. They are a little um, time consuming, but they're so pretty. So this one here, I think it's made with a one inch strip of paper. So it's rather large, but I have a couple of different sizes and I'll show you all in that video. And I will make that separate from Vlogmas. So keep an eye out for that. And then the only other plans that I have is a couple of um, home improvement projects. As you can tell, there's a hole in my wall. I had this really pretty picture that I got a few years ago. Um, this guy. And that is where he hung and then he fell and this corner broke and then the nail pulled out of the wall. So I thought, you know what, now is the perfect time to fix up this room. This is the only room on the main floor of our house that hasn't been uh, painted since we moved in five years ago. Um, and I actually went and bought a bunch of um, wood and molding and stuff to do board and batten in this room. That is my plan to put and batten up in this room and redo our front hall. There's a couple, there's a major project in the front hall. I'm not ready to do that yet. So I'm just gonna do this room and sort of wrap around the corner and paint. So I am definitely gonna get on that now that work is wrapped up. So just like last year, we're gonna be doing some home reno on the vlog, but um, there should be lots of knitting too. Anyways, I am going to end this for now and I'm gonna put on a um, Hallmark Christmas movie and make myself a cup of coffee and sit and twist minis until, well, until hopefully they're all done. 